number bond to 10, which is Alfie question six. Okay, listen to what I'm asking you now. And I'm going to ask you what number would go with a number to make 10, okay? So Bailey, what number would go with three to make 10? Seven. Diane. Mason, what number would go with four to make 10? Six. Well what done, number would go with 10 to make 10? Done. What number would go with zero to make ten? Fantastic, can't catch you out at all. Brilliant. Okay. If you know that five and five make ten, what two numbers would make a hundred then? What number bonds would make a hundred? Make sense? Fifty-five and fifty-five. Oh, very close. Well done. Good try. Think about it. Write down the number bond. Five add five makes ten. What two numbers would make a hundred? Look at it. Don't, don't say it out loud. Write it down. Have a go. What did you put there first of all? <laughs> well done. Equals what? Well done. Fantastic. Good boy. If you know, Bailey, five it's add five. Now. Okay, sweetheart, I'll change it. If you know five and five make ten, ten times bigger is for the hundred. So what is number five, ten times bigger? Fifty. Okay, fantastic. So it would be fifty add what? Well done. If you know two and eight make ten, Done. What numbers will make a hundred? Using what you know. Okay, Bailey, be careful. Be careful. What number have you got here? Two. What is two ten times bigger? Ten lots of two. Ten lots of two. Ten lots of two. Let's count. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. Twenty. The eighty is fantastic. Well done. The eight, ten times bigger, is eighty. But two, ten times bigger, is what? I don't. I don't. Fantastic. Well done. Right, boys, this is Alfie question 10, our bond to 100. And it says, Jack buys two of these to eat. So he spends one pound all together. Select the two things that he buys. Then we've got some lovely goodies down the bottom. We've got squares that are 10 pence. We've got an orange that's 30 pence. A burger that's 90 pence and a yogurt that's 70 pence. Okay. Licking your lips there, Mason. You hungry? Are you? Okay. Now, to make this question a little bit easier, our pound, what is it worth? How many pennies are in one pound? 100. 100. 100 pennies. Well done. And we just looked at number bonds to 100, so that might help us to solve this, this question, okay? Now, we're looking at the value of the items. Now, using what you know, for instance, 3 add 7 makes 10, so 30 add 70 makes 100. Which items could he buy for his 100, his 100 pennies? Mason? The orange and the yogurt. <gasps> Diane, let's have a look. 3 add 7 makes what? 10. 10. So 30 add 70 makes? 100. 100, which is his pound. Sarah buys two of these to eat. Now she spends a pound. How many pennies in a pound? 100. 100. All together. Select the two things that she buys. So have a look at the items then. Okay, there's a biscuit, a banana, a sausage roll and a packet of crisps. Have a look for your number bonds. Number bonds to 10, first of all. It'll help you out. Okay, Mesa? Six and three. Ooh, 
Think of that one now. Think carefully. Put six in your head. Count on three. Six, eight. seven, eight. Nine. Is that a number bomb for ten? No. Um, Think it could be. Eight. Twenty. Okay, how did you work that one out? Is that a guess or have you worked it out? Have you looked at the numbers? So tell me then, talk me through it. How did you get that in the number bonds? Um, 8 add 2 equals 10, so 80 add 20 equals 100. Well done, brilliant. What about the other two items, Bailey, that are there? Do they make a number bonds to 10? No. What are they? What are those numbers? What's there? What can you see? A 30 and a 60. So straight away, you know they don't make a pound because 3 and 6 don't make 10. So 30 and 60 certainly don't make 100, do they? Well done, boys. You've worked really hard this morning.